Good morning, New York traders. Private TRF X coming at you for the New York Open here. New York's just walking in, 7.05 a.m. Uh, we're a little bit late on the go today. We had some serious technical problems at the home of Privateer FX here. Don't want to get into it, but incredibly annoying. Um, we all deal with this now in this electronic trading world, but we are back. Anyway, let's talk about what we're doing for the New York session. First thing on tap is Aussie. We're sellers of rallies in Aussie up to this death knock here, which now comes in sort of 76.35. You can really start selling Aussie between 30 and 50 is kind of the, the strategy we're employing today. Uh, you may even want to put some sneaky shorts on before that. Um, Aussie looks like it's heading lower. You might do a doji today which is sort of 03 is where we open so but we're selling high ones in Aussie today that looks pretty good euro yen even with euro slipping to the left uh, we do see this as an important point in euro yen 133.10 considering that um, S&Ps are now trading up at 86 kind of have this risk on here. It doesn't dovetail with the left-hand side pressure in Euro-Dollar, but it does dovetail with the right-hand side pressure in Dollar-Yen. Effectively, we don't even care about either of that. We're just seeing if we're going to get acceleration of price above the figure, which is today's high, or more importantly, above 133.10. This is a momentum-driven style trade, so you don't really need to pre-trade this. Technically, I I mean, not technically, but my bias is for Euro Yen lower. But that's just bias speaking. The chart is telling me that uh, this thing could take another leg higher. Not sure what's going to drive it, but here we are. What else is there? Let's take a look at this Dollar Max. Dollar Max had a riotous day yesterday with, like, all of the dollar vehicles. Um, Print, print it up to 1898. No reason that this is going to stop. You know, left wing candidate taking over the country who's a bit of a populist, uh, who's a bit of a shouter. This is not going to be good for Mexico, and there will be risk above 19 now. So we're buyers of Dollar Max. Uh, we're being a little bit conservative here, so we're waiting kind of for the 50% of this bar here. So down in this sort of 70 to 73 area, we are buyers of dollar mix. What else is out there? Crude. Crude's doing some funny things these days. We're back at 69 bucks. We're, we're going to look very closely at crude because the market now is totally too long. So we're waiting for signs of a turn, and what are signs of a turn? A big red bar that closes at the lows. So this is what we're looking for. Maybe once we clear this 67, 18 area, we're not selling high ones. We are looking for signs of a turn in crude. The market is too long. Crude. What else? That's about it. Um, you can sell rallies in Euro, obviously. Uh, we got ECB on Thursday. This looks like there's going to be a wipeout on the downside. We see resistance between 40 and 60 on the top side. High has been 23, low has been 81. Obviously, below 68, all the stale longs who bought the 121 break way back in January are going to have to puke. So, something to be aware of. Anyway, Aussie and Eurian is our focus here today. We're obviously also watching this 10-year uh, treasury, 297 and a half. When it breaks three, it's a big deal. This will be a very, very big deal for the dollar. And all dollar-related stuff is going to go higher because psychologically this is just going to be kind of a watershed moment. So keep a close eye on the 10-year yield. All right, I've said enough. Good luck, people. Talk to you. I'm in London next couple of days.
I'll see you when I see you. Take care.